Power building is the best. It's our personal favorite way of lifting. It's uh, kind of the style a lot of people ask us about it, so we're kind of going to go through our philosophy with it. But I think you should come and take a ride. See the world through my eyes. Every day is a surprise. So I party like my birthday. LA is my birthplace. First place, west side, loud as I want to be. So the goal is to train heavy compounds so your bench squat dead. Um, we're focusing strength. So a lot of bodybuilding, like when you break down to it, can be a really strong, fast, concentric rep, um, rep, and then a really slow, eccentric rep, all about squeeze, very slow movements, pure muscle building. Whereas power building is a mix of both. However, it's primarily based in power, right? So lots of strength movements, lots of heavy lifts, lots of fun things like that. It's not for the weak of uh, weak hearted, I guess, right? It's pretty gnarly because you gotta beat yourself up with your compounds, still do a good amount of hypertrophy to back it off. But we're gonna walk you through it, go through the rest of our workout, show you like our power building kind of workout that we're doing today. We're starting with deadlifts, let's go. Just quick rips. I'm one of the greatest to ever do it. Easy. Yep, yep, yep. You got one more. You're still off the ground. It's moving though. Yep. Just up, just up. Breathe. Whew. Start so slow, then speed. Off the ground, and that's what sumo is, but I'm getting it. Whew. It's getting speedy though. It. This guy said he didn't want to do it, and he did it. <laughs> I gotta start wearing deadlift socks. <laughs> Passion Tango and Oxy Shred. Tastes pretty good. Oxy Shred, fat burner. Use code Colossus 10. 10% off HP Labs. What's your Starbucks discount code? I don't have one, but I wish I did. <laughs> So to power build, you don't necessarily need to follow a set powerlifting regimen. Uh, we recommend it if you actually want to get seriously strong. It's going to peak you, it's more calculated. Usually you're going to work off percentage base, so you do like 75% for a triple or 80% for a double, like kind of something like that. Those are random numbers, don't go programming off those, but that's kind of how it works. It kind of peaks you up to trying to hit new PRs, getting stronger than ever before. Um, and it's a better discipline than just going in and trying to lift as heavy as you can every day because that is not sustainable whatsoever. I've tried that and I've gone nowhere. It's going to keep you running in circles. So yeah, we're kind of starting with this power thing, doing that bodybuilding hypertrophy, still keeping it strong base. So we're going to hit legs. So I'm going to show you some things we can do. I'm going to do the best I can with my calf. I don't want to re-aggravate that. I definitely want to start squatting next week, but deadlifts are feeling nice. This is 496 for four, set number two. Let's go. Boss it up, buddy. Yep. More hips. Up, up, up. Pull, 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 pull. pretty weak hamstrings, well more so me, not so much Kyle, something we want to work on. Stiff leg deadlifts have always been a huge pillar for us. If you guys have been following us for years, you know we love them, we're bringing them back. Um, I know I said necessarily power building, you're not going to do so eccentric reps or so negatives, but for this I love it. Hamstrings are all about the stretch, really like to stretch them out, keep that butt out. Really, really big stretch on the way up, we like to push through, engage those glutes, and just it's great, it's giving us lockout, it's giving us hamstring, hamstring growth. and 
It's one of our favorite exercises straight up. So we go from our compound to kind of like a compound accessory. That's on the big three. So today it's pretty rigorous because it's deadlift, bench, we're gonna do some stiff legs here. We're gonna do uh, some pull throughs, a couple lunges, some calves, that's our workout. But it's pretty gnarly. Um, also, I know you guys are missing some of the like travel vlogs. Like we've been pretty much just in the gym, keeping it that way, but we've been super busy. I know we always say that, but we actually have been really busy. Um, we're going to Louisville, Kentucky. I guess probably not the next upload, you'll see the upload after that. We've got the pro show this weekend, so there's a ton of great content to come. So please, please, please turn on the notification bell because I know our videos aren't getting sent out much anymore because we haven't been uploading. It's probably our own fault, but the little bell down there, you get a notification every time we upload that we can get to our video quick. And I'm sure you guys can win a lot of good stuff because we're going to do some more giveaways. That's it. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please smash that like button, drop a comment down below because it'll help our channel out a lot. Down in the description, we're going to have the full Colossus power building workout that we did today, so make sure to try it out, let us know how it is. Now we're going to head to Shawarma, go get some food and talk to you about our lives there. As always guys, we came here, Boss Man hooked it up. Special thanks to Boss Man, the guy's the greatest, he'll be at Kyle's wedding. Um, look at this sucker, I got a big head too. Shawarma bicep, right? You see what I'm saying? So good, tons of veggies, we just get hummus, we avoid the white sauces because of the calories, but lots of veggies, lots of protein, perfect post-workout. This is good. Is it good or great? Mmm, it's amazing. This is called amazing shawarma. I swear like last summer when we got really lean, like I got down to about 160, I was still able to eat this every single day. Like Josh said, got rid of the white sauces, good source of protein and stuff. But right now it's kind of fun because we have our meal prep sponsor. I'll usually have at least two of those meals a day and then just one meal out, whatever it is. Sometimes burritos, Chipotle has been a good one that Josh introduced me to recently and we've been having it like almost every day. Power building you need that good food, bro. Power building, yeah, you guys need to fuel yourself well. It's not about eating garbage. It's not about being in like a crazy big deficit or anything like that. It's just about getting the right nutrients in and having fun with it.